would be efficient in that direction.
transcendental wisdom, right? Or this transcendental.
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome everybody to this incredible session and official inauguration of the elite smartens of the successor generation community. It's going to be an incredible day and I want everybody to sit back. We have joining us very soon, the Honorable Commission of Education, Lagos State, this is she will be with us soon because she will be making her remarks and engaging with the students. Uh, we have a lineup of exciting activities and we know that today is going to be a super awesome time. So I want you all to uh, stay connected and let's have an incredible time together. Uh, as you come in, uh, ensure you don't unmute those who will need to have, make, uh, have a conversation with us, we will unmute them when the time comes. So welcome once again and chill out, relax. We're gonna have an incredible time today.
hope everybody's excited to be here. We're going to be having a wonderful time. Today, we have the uh, Kairis family joining us from Ghana. Good to see you. Uh, Alajide and everybody, Kosu, Eniola, uh, Sean Fumi, Mofed, and Tennessee, Dumisi, Agian, Akino Lu, Uche Stacy, Adekoya Sean, Aimina, Aron Lu, Arenoso, Ayomani, Jafeth, bless him, and Kielu, Yeleke, Tolu, Kainsala, Alajide, I want to welcome all of you. Uh, this is Nathan Fipati, uh, Daniela, Obika, and Kiyonu Jamal. Uh, <clears throat> everybody's welcome. Uh, we are also live on Facebook, and as I'm sure all of you can see. So everybody just uh, ensure that you are in your best, best behavior today. The whole world is watching. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again uh, to this incredible time that we are having today. Yeah. I, I want everybody to relax and have fun. We have, if you are live on YouTube, you can see all the wonderful faces of uh, these incredible young smartens from across Nigeria. Wherever you are, The session is in progress. Uh, those who are unable to uh, join us uh, live on uh, Zoom, you don't have to worry. Um, you can connect with us straight up. Uh, we want to ask all the other members of the Elite Smarter Group who are here to join to do so right away because we have already started our sessions and uh, this program is going one effective We are happy to announce that the Commissioner for Education, Lagos State, uh, Honorable Mrs. Folashade Adifisayo, she will be joining us uh, just before 11.30 so that she can give us her engagement and talk. And it's gonna be an incredible time, I'm sure. Uh, we also will be hearing a very special report from uh, one of our leaders here, one of the group captains and we're going to be getting a report from
like we've announced to us before, this uh, session is lasting for just one and a half hours. And uh, we are in very good hands. So we are starting now. As soon as uh, the Honorable Commissioner joins us, we'll uh, immediately switch over and then bring her in so that she can make her engagement. We also want to appreciate all our parents who are joining us from uh, who are joining us from across different parts of the country. I want you to know that uh, you guys are doing very good. We appreciate you for the support that you've given to all the young people who have been in this program and how all of them have been able to make a difference. Uh, they stood out in all of the measures and criteria that were put out to measure those who were very serious, who were intellectually endowed, and who were distinguishing themselves among everybody else. It might interest you to know that uh, you guys are just a few out of the, th of the thousands of people who got on the program. So we're going to start right now. Uh, we're going to we're going to we're going to begin in a moment. So we'll start uh, by singing the national anthem. All right, just the. We'll sing only the second stanza of the national anthem, all right? And then we're ready to go. And then I will, I will ask um, uh, one of you here to do the opening prayers, and then I will give a welcome address. Okay, so if you're ready, Smartens, let's uh, go. The national anthem. I uh, want to go. To be sure that you are all doing it, put your hands on your chest like this. Okay. All right. Let me be sure that good. Absolutely. So let's do the national anthem to together. I want to go. Oh, God of creation, the red hour noble call. Guide our leaders right. Help our youth the truth to know. In our own harness, see to grow, living just and true. Great love to hide her tale. To build a nation where peace and justice shall reign. Thank you very much. Uh, that was a, a beautiful rendition uh, of the national anthem by the Grammy Award winning somebody. So I want to, uh, I'm going to invite one of you right now to just uh, officially say the opening prayers for us. Okay, so I am going to be inviting a young lady to come and do the opening prayers for us. So it's Uche Stacy. I am going to unmute you. Uche Stacy. Unmute yourself. You are live now on YouTube. Say the opening prayers. Thank you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Let's let's close our eyes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meeting. Thank you, Father, for the inauguration and the induction of the Smart and Elite. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to gather here successfully. We pray whatever we come here for will not go in vain in Jesus' name. We pray we will learn from this platform and we will go filled and, and fulfilled in Jesus' name. Thank you for Mr. Johnson Abali and the Honorable that are here to speak to us. We will not go back the same way in Jesus' name. We pray this meeting will be successful. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you very much, uh, Popuche, for that presentation. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> right now I want to present you a welcome address as, uh, as we get ready to receive everybody else. Uh, uh, When we started the smartened WhatsApp school, supported by the successor generation community, the goal was to be able to take a lot of young people out of the street and make sure that in spite of the lockdown, we continue to have students who are learning. Learning was the key thing for us, and we made sure that it was, it continued and everybody learned. We got over 60 tutors who we were very happy to support and then they signed in and then they were able to give different levels of support to all our students who were learning. One of the fundamental things for us is that we believe the young Nigerians have the capacity to achieve incredible feat anywhere in the world. And that the fact that you were in this country couldn't stop you from going ahead to do incredible things. And that we believe that so strongly, we committed our resources. So far we have spent several thousands of dollars just to ensure that we kept this whole program going, we supported back end, uh, ensure the equipment, the tools, the data bundles, everything we needed for you to keep learning and succeed at no cost at all continues to be there. And it's, it, it gives me tremendous joy that we were able to ensure that you guys learned. And then we have kept this on for over 11 weeks. And we, as this has brought us successfully to the close of the WhatsApp score this June. So by June ending, uh, we will technically bring the workshop school to an end. Now, this is not to say that we will lose contact with you. You are still in our various groups, so we'll be providing uh, engagement opportunities, uh, very important updates that we think would benefit you. You'll continue to receive them on those groups. But going forward, we have identified over 200 smart young people on the program who have distinguished themselves out of the 4,000 people that we admitted into the SGC program. Now, what has happened is all of you who were on this program and then who have distinguished yourself, none of you have come in here on any other criteria or parameters except for those of merit. So merit has been the standard for which we have made a selection. Merit is the reason why you're here. And apart from your performance, which must have been above average in the test, we also looked at your engagement in the team projects that we carried out. We also looked at how robust your engagement has been and the critical thinking and problem solving sessions that we had you know, in the evenings. And for those of you who have been nominated, I want you to understand that you are in for an incredible experience. And because this program continues for you, most of your ongoing engagement and lectures and tutorials will take place both at Google Classrooms and in Microsoft Teams. And we are looking at providing augmented reality for those of you on or on the program and an expanded critical thinking and problem solving uh, project that goes beyond just doing activity online. We are going to be doing projects. You are, as soon as COVID-19 is over, you guys are going to be involved in visit. Hopefully, you're going to be visiting the, 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 of the office of the governor and also the office of the Honorable Commissioner of Education. Uh, we are connecting you with industry leaders across key industries where you are able to learn very practically how you know, you're supposed to begin to prepare yourself for the future of work. All right. Uh, the idea is to model those of you on this program to the rest of Africa. Uh, 
so that when Africa is looking for the picture of the successor generation, smart young people who are in a community that they're supporting each other and then they have a robust ecosystem, they could look back here and see that in the smarten, in the elite smarter program, we have those kinds of young people. All right, even though the uh, el uh, the elite boot camp, which we call the right of passage boot camp, will only will take place only for SS3 students and those who are finished, but those who are in junior classes can know that they will all also get to be in that program when the time comes. All right, so uh, I want you to know that you have been chosen to become a part of an incredible a part of an incredible team. This is a big family and everybody is welcome to be a part of what is really going on here. So I want to once again encourage you. Uh, we are going to be having more briefing session in the Smarten groups, in the elite Smarten groups, all right? So right now to all our friends who didn't make this group and uh, are wondering what the what the situation would be like for you, I do not want you to be worried. Like I said to you when I was addressing you in the audio yesterday, I did say that oh, as many of you as are able to collect your certificate, your SEC certificate, that will empower you to become a part of the elite program in the future. The elite program subscription fee is 25,000 naira going forward. But for those who have been on this program and who have obtained the certificate of very little or nothing, you understand that certificate entitles you to be able to come on this program for free, so long as you are able to cross a 65 point cutoff mark. That is why it's very important to ensure that as this program is closing, you have a certificate <coughs> to show that you have been through this. So this is really absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. All the elite smartens as well are going to have a special certificate that shows their elite status or their certificate. So certificate is essentially absolutely necessary for everybody who wants to continue to be a part of this program. All right, so I am I'm very pleased that we are here now doing this. I am going to uh, quickly request that uh, uh, any, uh, I'm going to take two, three feedbacks from any one of our students here who would like to share their experience, uh, how it has been for them, you know, right here. I, I want to know uh, how it's been for you. So at this point, I'm going to ask a few persons to share their thoughts. All right, uh, if Precious is there, she should get ready in for to share in 30 seconds. I will also ask uh, Macaulay Fogo to share for another 30 seconds. And I will ask one more person to share for another 30 seconds, and then we are good to go. So uh, if you're ready, let's get set to, to get this done. All right, so thank you very much. That's my opening remark. I am sure that everybody here is excited to to be a part of what's happening. And uh, in no time at all, uh, what will be done. So we are still expecting the arrival of the commissioner. As soon as she joins us, uh, we'll be ready to roll with the special speech by our student leader. So right now I'm going to invite Fogo um, to start off. And uh, uh, I'm gonna pin you right now. Fogo, um, if you're ready, it's just a 30 second. You have to share with here we go. Uh, are you unmuted? Can you please unmute yourself now? Okay, you're good to go. You are live right now. Well, 
Fogo, you are muting yourself. Please don't mute, just uh, speak up. Yeah. Yes. Fogo, unmute yourself. Yes, sir. So, my experience during this um, agency, this whole thing, practically, when my mom first sent me the link, I was I was thinking that she just wanted me to apply myself with something that would just not just make me to waste time just sitting down doing nothing. And when I began when I began the whole course, I began to get really interested because. It was not only academical, um, it was not only academically that I've been impacted, it also impacted me mentally, morally, and so many other ways. Especially during the CTPS session, that I've gained so much during the CTPS session. The academics parts, they are also really good, and I'm happy, and I really appreciate what SGC has really done. It has been a very good experience. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fogo, for sharing uh, with us here today. Uh, can we have uh, Precious? Fogo, you can mute yourself. Now. Can we have Precious talk to us? Precious, if you're there. Precious, are you there? I, I don't know what name you are here as. Uh, some of you are using your parents' phone, so I can't quite get it. Precious, are you there? All right, if Precious is not there, uh, I'm going to have to call on uh, someone else. Is Daniela in the room? Daniela, are you there? Okay, well, if Daniela is not, I will call one of the Williams sisters. One of the Williams sisters is going to talk to us briefly. Uh, Williams, maybe Carice or the other one, you decide which one would go. All right, so you're muted now, the Williams. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Mari. And ever since I joined the SGC Smartan WhatsApp group, it's been very educative and impactful, especially during the CCPS sessions, thinking out of the box, trying to get the perspectives of other people, understanding how people think. It's very beneficial. It helps you also to improve and to understand the world out there. And the classes that we have been doing, they have been very good. With teachers sending audios and teachers sending videos for us to understand the topic or the subject at hand. So in all, I'll say that the SGC um, Smart Hand Group has been very impactful and very beneficial. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, the Williams. Uh, the Williams are joining us from, I think, Accra, Ghana. They are some of our Ghanaian students who are on the program. Um, and uh, you should know that both Ghana and Nigeria have very similar syllabus. and They write the same YAC exams. So good to have you join us. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, one more comment from uh, who is, who is ready to go now? Uh, Precious, is that you as a line cut Dixon? I'm I've been trying to find you. Uh, okay, so if Precious is not ready. I'm going to add Ben Fortune uh, to share his start, how uh, this has been for him. Ben Fortune, you have been unmuted. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Um, as he has rightly said, my name is Ben Fortune, a student of the SJC WhatsApp School. So basically, I'll be gladly sharing my experience 
um, during this whole course. Uh, when I first saw the link, I, I, I joined, I joined basically, but I wasn't active at all because of um, other reasons. Um, it was later on, I think fourth, fifth, um, I think it was in the third week or fifth week, or was it? I think in the later weeks, I um, became active and basically joining from the critical thinking and problem solving session that was you know engaging different people's perspectives and when this person says is what he or she feels and you know to you it's like what he's saying is wrong but you understand that you just have to engage different opinions no matter how right you feel you are so that kind of mental patience um trying to analyze um situations before you delve into uh, uh, conclusions. So it's helped me increase my mental quotient and the need to basically digest situations before solving them. And then the classes on Edmodo, they've been fun, they've been interactive. Uh, there were some classes I didn't actually join, but for the ones I have joined, I can say that it's been really, really engaging. So it's a wholesome experience is a awesome experience actually it's been very very beautiful and for it to come to a close as in june june ending is like breaking my heart but there's nothing we can do for um to be a part of this elite smart hands is an amazing advantage so kudos to mr johnson abali uh is actually our dad so kudos to him kudos to the back end members kudos to everyone who have contributed to make this a huge success. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us, Fortune Ben. Amazing. I, I just uh, got out of the phone with the Commissioner for Education, and uh, she said that she's uh, just, you know, putting herself in order so that she can appear. <laughs> so as soon as she comes on stream, I will invite. Uh, to uh, give our students remark, and then we are ready to go. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. So uh, while we are waiting for her to come in, uh, we'd like to quickly get um, another feedback. It's Ikosu uh, Ramat here, and Omole in your left place. Ikosu Ramat, are you, are you in the picture here? Ikosu Ramat. Professor Ramat, are you anywhere here? Then you can put up, you can mute yourself. Professor Ramat? Because if you're there, I cannot uh, can find you. Um, I cannot find you if you're here. Okay, so I, I think we'll quickly take Amale. Amale, if your network is strong enough, uh, we are ready to take you so you can share your thought with us uh, going forward. Yes. Yes, Amale, go ahead. No, it's don't, don't unmute, yes. So good go morning, ahead. everyone. My good name morning. is Amale. I'm a participant of the RZP Master, and I would like to share my experience. Then the, this program was first of all introduced to me by a friend of mine. So my teacher told me that, okay, there will be an ongoing. My friend sent it to me, so that was how I got involved. Then at first I was kind of, I felt naive because I didn't know how the program was drawn. So later I was, I became used to it. And I got a lot of things because I was able to learn through the critical thinking session because I learned how to think out of the box, how to consider people's perspective before going into conclusions. Then based on the classes too we have, then they have found their interest because I've learned a lot. And the same thing is that no knowledge is lost. I've been able to learn a lot of, a lot of things. And I would like to thank Mr. Bali for the critical thinking session because he has really helped. They've, and those are the bargains to the video because they've... They uh, devoted their time to help us without even collecting a dime from us. And they've really tried by spending a lot of resources on us without even collecting a dime or without even, 
So the value of those lots. So I would like to thank everyone, even the students who, who are part of this SDG WhatsApp, because I'm really happy that I was able to make it to the Light the Light Matters program. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, okay, thank you very much, uh, all of us. I, I think uh, I'm trying to set up uh, the Commissioner for Education. I think that she has joined us. Uh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> Why I am hoping to, I'm sending her a private message to set her up and uh, let's be sure that we're ready. Okay. Um, thank you, Amale, for sharing. You are always an incredible gentleman. You, you do awesome things all the time. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I want uh, to look one to please uh, start to get ready. Okay, uh, the commissioner is here with us. I'm going to, uh, please, Toluwane, are you set? Uh, we have a commissioner here with us. At the moment, I am going to be activating her shortly. Uh, uh, Ma'am, we are happy to have you with us. Um, just wait a second. We are, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. We're, we're happy to have the commissioner with us. Um, she will be addressing us in a bit. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> while we get ready, uh, Toluwani, you need to make your remarks that brings in the commissioner so that she can have uh, a short time. Her office is an incredibly busy office. And so she, she needs to be able to... Uh, to get ready. Hello, uh, Tuluwane, are you there? I need to confirm that you are. Is Tuluwane there? Please, you need to let me know. Okay. Uh, uh, Tuluwane, just get ready. I'm going to set you up to have this conversation and uh, I will bring in the commission. Hello, Johnson. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'd like you to see the first picture we have with us, the Commissioner for Education, Honorable uh, Falasha Dea Defisayo. I, I know that I muted all of you but you can find your way to say hello to Big Mommy. All right, uh, I can, she, she's here with you. You guys are very privileged that she has taken time of a busy, very busy schedule really, so that she can be here with all of you to have this incredible session. Uh, so while she's live, I I, I want to welcome Elusaya. Uh, Elusaya, you are going to quickly make your student remark to the Commissioner, so that she can also make a remark, so that she has to uh, run away to be in another meeting. So, uh, Tundu, if you. Tundu, please go ahead. Everybody's listening to you now. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning, everyone. It's a great honor and privilege to be here representing the Allied Matters and our DPC. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge our DPC here, starting with the Honorable Commissioner of Education, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Next is our special Dr. Jansen Abali, also known as Esther Dali. I've been a great dad and father to us during this program. He's the Founder of the Special Generation Community and the president of the Activist for Social International. I must also acknowledge our distinguished friends and guardians who have provided for us and supported us during the course of this ACT program. I must not also forget the national heroes and the young teachers and instructors who have sacrificed a lot and taken a lot of time and 
Thank you very much, Elusaya Tuluani. I am sure that uh, even though there was a little bit of static from your end, I think it's because of network challenge. But thank you for sharing. And I'm happy that the Honorable Commissioner is here to hear your thoughts. And I'm sure she will convey your warm regards to the governor. Uh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are really very excited that uh, our Big Mommy has decided to join in I see she came into office as a commissioner of education in Lagos State. The state education landscape has dramatically been altered positively. We have seen all kinds of positive improvement, growth, technological growth. We've seen more stakeholder interest in the sector and then tremendous things have happened. And uh, I think that God in his wisdom knew that we are going to have this kind of messed up lockdown. And so he sent a Moses ahead of time to prepare as for the kind of challenge that would face. I was wondering if she was not a commissioner for education, how would the state have been able to manage as effectively as it had managed now, you know, if she had not been there. So we are very happy that she has counted all of us worthy to be a part of this incredible meeting. And she has a few thoughts she likes to share with us. So uh, with SG Seal excitement, I'd like you uh, to put your hand. I mean, let her know that you are clapping. You clap like this. Come on, everybody. Uh, let, let me see the clapping coming in, coming in, coming in, as we welcome the Honorable Commissioner of Education, Lagos State, as she shares with us. Thank you, Madam. Please, you have the floor. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me here. I, I hope you are hearing me clearly. I didn't really hear Tuluani very well, but I hope this is clearer. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be among you all. Uh, my own take about the future is, uh, uh, and how I'm seeing you and all that you've learned is that I think I am seeing the future and I think it looks good. It looks good because you, the future of our country will take us to a different place from where we are. And I'm glad that you are equipping yourself with the skills. While I thank Mr. Johnson Abali, who I have known and respected tremendously for many years, whose quest I totally believe in and buy into, and who I would always support wherever I can. I also respect all of you because you could have done any, a, a number of other things, but you stayed the course, you learned these skills, and I hope you are going to take these skills out and make the change that we need to make in our country. I am of the uh, generation that I think we, we must have failed this country in many ways, but I'm hopeful that you will not fail your country, that you will take us to where we are supposed to be. And that's why when we talk about leadership, I think uh, people say you are leaders of tomorrow. I don't agree. You cannot be a leader tomorrow if you don't become, if you are not a leader today. And since leadership is not about position, leadership is really about your influence. The people who influence you, the people who are willing to follow you. And therefore I counsel you in your own little corner to start to be a leader. And a leader I've taught leadership many times. And when I ask people, what are the character? Tell me about a leader you admire. Tell me about that person. They always say things like he was humble, he was full of integrity, he was visionary, he had focus, he had a passion, he was self-disciplined, he, he continued to learn, he never stopped learning, he built relationships with people younger than him, older than him or her, the same age, in order to keep learning, in order to keep growing, and in order to keep influencing. And so I counsel each one of you to listen to those descriptions. None of them said he's handsome or she's beautiful or she's um, <laughs> rich or anything. But they said, they mentioned the characteristics of that person that had influenced them. So I hope that you will take away from here that leadership is not about pure position. Leadership is about your influence. And therefore I say it again, influence your community, influence your family, and you will see how your, what do you call it? Your circle of influence will continue to expand. At a certain time, you know, we, we, we have a small circle of influence. And if I look at my own career, when I left university, I started working in a bank. 
I was an officer. I had one officer reporting to me. After a while, it was two or three people. After a while, it was a group of maybe 10. After a while, I became a more senior person and, and was in charge of a section. Eventually, I rose to become a branch, uh, um, the uh, assistant manager in a bank, branch before I left banking. And so I, what I have learned all through those years is let me influence the people who are working with me. Let me be a role model, a mentor, somebody they can confide in, somebody they can work with, somebody who leads the way, who shows the way, believes in the way, and lives according to the way. And so that's why I counsel each of you, and I wish you all the best. I'm looking forward to all your successes in life, and I hope you will not keep your hide your light under uh, what do they call it? Hide your light, but shine so that the, your whole generation and the whole country will see what you are made of. I know you have learned a lot of skills. For me, the 21st century skills, as we call them, or core skills, they are essential to success. You cannot be a successful leader if you cannot work in teams, if you cannot collaborate with others, if you are a loner. Because when you are a loner, who are you influencing? Who are you leading? They say that a leader is someone who has followers. If you don't have followers, you are not leading. You are merely taking a walk. So if you do not want to take a walk, you must influence people around you. And so you must be a team player. You must be a good collaborator. You must be a good public speaker. Not everybody came to public. Not everybody is like John Cena Balio who can speak to any crowd, you know, in their impeccable diction. But we cannot learn. It's a skill. And I'm sure he's told you, like all skills, a skill can be learned, it can be taught, it can be mastered. So I was very shy. Most people won't believe that. I'm, I, even on one-on-one, -on -one, I'm still shy. But when it comes to addressing an audience, I just lose that shyness because I've learned to manage and master that side of me. So uh, you must be a good speaker, a good communicator, a good collaborator. You must be somebody who is innovative because we have to. We can't look at solutions and solve them the same old way. When I came into this uh, government and COVID happened, nobody planned for COVID. If you know the plans I had, I was going to do this, I was going to do that, I was, you know, all of a sudden everything came to a halt. And I called people and said, for private schools, especially expensive private schools, they are teaching their students online. We haven't invested in the past sufficiently in technology to do this. How are we going to reach our students? Some people said, leave it, it won't be for long. Let them, let them stay at home. Why should children stay at home? And so we started working on a solution with radio, we, got, we called many radio stations. Some said pay 500,000 naira per day and things like that. One or two took a risk and said, we do it free. So we started working with our teachers. Some had never taught, you know, they had never taught using a radio. They had never, they were not digitally literate. We went for training. We did a lot of things, addressed the curriculum. And up till today, every day in Lagos State, they are still teaching on radio. And I'm excited to say we've even expanded it to include other things like creativity. We have an artist who is going to be teaching young people how to make little things in the house, gifts for their aunties and uncles. We have a STEM organization that is going to show us digitally uh, experiments online. And we have teachers who are going to talk, there's going to be a panel that will discuss the major issues around youth, sexual harassment, bullying, intimidation, the drug culture, the pop culture, and so on. Uh, academic excellence. So we are going to, we keep expanding. And it was all because we said we cannot do things differently. So you must be innovative. You must be problem solvers because there are many problems for your generation to solve. Is it global warming? Is it terrorism? Is it poverty? Is it poor education? Is it broken homes? Is it uh, the, uh, um, what do you call it? The drug culture that we have nowadays, prostitution and so on. There are so many problems for you to solve. You are living in exciting times. I kind of envy you a little bit, you know, <laughs> but go on, go on and forge ahead and be a problem solver. Pick your own problem, solve that problem. You'll be surprised at what you, what you can do. You've heard of the lady who was doing more money and went to meet Obama in White House, I'm sure. So can you imagine that from making more money and doing it well, she became a figure who was invited to the White House. So whatever you do, do it well. Be innovative, be creative, be a problem solver. 
these are some of the skills. And of course, be digitally literate. I, I don't think you should know how to use technology to improve your own productivity so that you are able to do great things with technology, do films, go, go on YouTube, be influencers on YouTube, be influencers on Instagram, so that people turn to you. When I want to learn about leadership for young people, who should I talk to? It should be one of you. You know, when young people have issues, maybe in school and so on, how can I solve this problem? This teacher is harassing me. These seniors are bullying me. Who should I talk to? It should be one of you. And you could use digital literacy to reach the world. So, like I said, you are living in exciting times. I always remember Tai Sholani, who on graduate, the owner of the famous Mayflower School, Ikene, every graduation told his students as they were leaving, may your road be rough. Because when the road is too easy, then you relax. He's not saying, may you have hard times. He's saying, may you encounter many issues along the way that will require you to bring to the fore your intelligence, your creativity, your ability, your innovativeness, all the skills that you are learning. I am very proud to be the commissioner of education because I have people like you who will ensure that the future is better than our today. And therefore, I again thank the governor, Baba Jide Olushola Sonwulu, because he has given me this gift. And I, in turn, give the gift to you, the gift of leading your generation, trumpeting the call, leading from in front, be the great person that you were meant to be. Thank you very much for having me. I'm so sorry I will have to leave soon because I have a, a Zoom meeting at 12. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. We're so happy to have you. Matt, before you run away, can you still allow want to Kain Salah would like to quickly say a short word of thanks. Uh, Kain Salah, uh, hello? Sir, I can hear you, sir. Okay, good. The, the commissioner can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, sir. All right, so you go ahead and see of, your face. I'm here, sir. Uh, okay, go ahead. Oh. On behalf of the founder of SDC, Mr. Bali Johnson, the teaching and the teaching staff of Ed Moto, some of the founder of SDC, Justin Abali, the teaching and the teaching staff, the students, the teachers, we like to say a big thank you to our big mommy. Okay, thank you very much. I'm sure that. Okay. I would like to say a big thank you for handling your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kanyisala, for that kind word. We want to ask the Honorable Commissioner whether she's, yes, whether she's able to let uh, one or two students ask yes, a question. Uh, some of my students are so excited about this moment, and then they have been buzzing me on the. As I said, Madame has a very tight schedule. We don't know whether she can, you know, entertain one question or uh, two, you know, maybe, and then we are ready okay. to let her go. Okay, I hope you don't mind, but I will keep trying to log on to the other <laughs> to the other meeting on my, on another device. At least they should see me there. But I will take the okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you very much. I would like to. Have you. I'm going to be calling Macaulay Fogo to ask his question. Yes, Macaulay Fogo. What is the question you have for um, the Honorable Commissioner for Education? Uh, going forward, especially with regards to uh, uh, your role right now as an elite smarter, all right? So I'm, I'm sure uh, you're ready to go. Macaulay Fogo, get ready to shoot. I am putting, I am unmuting you right now. Okay. Yes, Ma. First of all, I'd like to appreciate the presence here. And my question is, as, as a leader, as a leader, we really need consistency to be able to be consistent with um, with the with the responsibilities you are given. So you have to be consistent so that it doesn't fall, it doesn't fall apart, or it doesn't dismantle. So I need advice on that consistency. How I can keep that consistency? 
Okay, thank very, you very much. Oh, yeah. Can I answer yeah. very quickly? It's a very interesting question because yes, I, I yes, hope I'm interpreting it correctly in that there are many distractions, but you must stay the course. There's a focus, there's something you want to achieve, but there are many things that are distracting you. I hope that is it. So how do you maintain uh, your uh, uh, consistency? Uh, I want to, first of all, welcome our dignitaries. Please, pardon me, let me mute my... <laughs> <laughs> okay, of course. Yes. yes. Uh, of course, who is the chief host of this web deputy governor as well of Lagos State, both here uh, as the chief host and the co-host. Okay. I don't think they can hear me. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. <yeah>. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I think, first of all, to have a focus, you must know what you are about. Uh, there are many distractions, but you must know what you want to do and keep it, have a plan for yourself. I have found it very useful for me to have a personal vision, a personal mission. I've written it down over many years ago. And that personal vision was that I wanted to influence education in Nigeria. I didn't know how I was going to do it because I was working in a private school. But I decided that I would not limit myself to what I was doing in that school. I would get involved in as many activities as I could. And I did. I used to teach. I used to work free. I used to volunteer in many schools, many universities. I would go there and teach, support students. I don't call it lecturing. I don't like to lecture. I teach. I take people through all sorts of processes. And I also certified myself as a trainer, for example, of the seven habits of highly effective which I found to be very useful to me. So staying focused, first of all, having a vision for yourself. And when you have that vision, to live that vision is not easy. But you have to, that's why I check in every, every Sunday. My family knows me for this eccentricity. On Sundays, I sit down and check the last week. I check my next week. I, am I still staying true to my course? Am I doing things that are in line with my focus? I accept all my roles. You see, you have to accept that you are, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a boss, I'm a subordinate, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a member of voluntary organizations, I'm in various groups, and so I have to accept all those rules and see how I can play a great role in each one of them. Because as Gandhi said, you cannot be successful if you are only successful in certain parts of life. So the totality of your life. How can it be successful? That is why your vision must capture the essence of who you are and what you want to be. So again, to, I hope I haven't been incoherent, but let me say again, have a vision for yourself. Focus on that. Write it in any way you want. If it's a song, make it a song. If it's a, 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 a sentence, make it a sentence. But just follow, know that this is what I am about. This is who I am. This is what I want to achieve in life. Disappointments will come. Don't deceive yourself. But when they come, if you are focused, you will go back to that vision. So every Sunday I check in, am I still staying the course? Have I allowed distractions of life to derail me from what I want to be, who I want to be, my plans for myself? Those are some of the things I do every week. So that every week I check in. I also have mentors and coaches, mentors who are younger than me, older than me, who I ask for advice, who I, who's, at whose feet I have learned. So I think if you, to stay consistent, you have to stay focused. Many things will distract you. Problems, exigencies of life, up and down. You know, even friends will distract you. Your family can distract you. The, 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 the situation in the country can distract you. you. You can be so fed up that let me give up. But stay the course, stay focused. And don't just stay focused in your mind. Put things down, write things down, do your plan, follow it, have accountability friends. And this kind of course that you are doing, continue so that you continue to expand your horizon. When I said I wanted to influence the education in Nigeria, I was just a volunteer. I was still a banker. I was a volunteer. I left banking. I went into education. I rose through it. I did all sorts of things, but always, always saying, I don't want to just influence the small children in the private school I'm working in. I want to influence them. And so at this age, when I should really be retiring, I'm now starting a wonderful new career. So I, that's what I admonish you. I hope I've made sense. Thank you, Johnson. Can I go? <laughs> no, can, can we just take one last one from uh, Karis? Karis is one of our students from Ghana. 
they join okay. us from Accra, Ghana. We have Ghanaian okay. students with us as well. Oh, and then they are, they are learning. That oh, she has asked wonderful. that uh, she asked her questions. So, Karis, uh, you, are, you are on now. Quickly, ask a very quick one, please. Madam is on a very tight schedule. Go ahead, Karis. Good morning. Well, please, I'd like to um, act based on a project I'm doing. So, um, I go to Kenya SHS in Kumasi in Ghana, and we are currently undertaking a project to improve on the environmental standard of our school and to make it better into for our game. Yes, basically that. And I'd like to know, because getting people to actually understand your concept and your perspective to improve on, they don't really see their importance. All what they think about is themselves and not actually thinking about the future of the impact they are having right now. So I'd like to know how to make people think the way you think and how to get people who actually understand, understand your goals and your aims. That's, that's my question. Thank you. Carlis, another wonderful question from the wonderful country, Ghana, a country I love very much and that I've traveled to. It's COVID, though. I would have gone to rest my head in Ghana once in a while. Uh, you won't need to get away from the holy bolly of Lagos. And Ghana is a great place. Uh, thank you for your question. You see, not everybody is going to buy your, your, your views. What you have to do is your messaging. Look at your messaging. What are, how am I going to get through to? What will... What, what will they, you see, when you talk about environment, like when people talk about um, uh, global warming, some people say it's not true, Joe, it's not true. But you have to show them using data, using facts, using images, using as many ways as possible to show them. And then let me tell you, go and look for a core group of people who believe in you so that they will help you propagate that message. Not everybody is going to believe. So many will stay on the shelf. But they stay on the, those people who are on the shelf are easier to, to, to convert when you have a core group of people who believe and who you are all sending a consistent message out together and who together with you are sending this consistent message. Then those sitting on the shelf, you start to bind. You see, you, to expand your circle of influence, you do it gently. You can't force them. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah. you have to convince them. So it's your language, it's your communication, is what you are using, is the data, is the statistics, the reality. Show them how it affects them. Show them why they should be interested. Like I said, and target the people sitting on the shelf. The people on the shelf are like, I don't, I don't, I'm not against it, but I don't really, you know, get it. Those are the ones you convert. If you can convert them. The, they are hardliners who will never be on your side. I hope you know that. You don't waste your energy yeah. on them. Many of them, yeah. when they see that the whole world is going in a certain direction, they too will follow. So I strongly advise yeah. and say this again, please stay focused and look at your communication and your message. Show them why they should believe you. Why should I believe in you? Why should I follow your environmental? How does it affect me personally? You have to answer those questions. You believe in it, but you have to get them to understand why. Why should they? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow. Thank you very much. We are very excited. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Madam Commissioner, for the support that you have given us today in our official inauguration. So we, we are grateful. We are happy to let you go. Uh, but uh, on behalf of all the children, we are hoping that uh, when all the pandemonium is over and the pandemic, uh, we will be happy to come and pay you a special visit in your office for uh, a commissioner handshake. The children will be very excited to be able to have a meeting with you. The commissioner is nodding yes, so that's a good one, kids. Let's good. appreciate her. So great. So let, I want to let her see you putting your hands together as we appreciate her. She goes together, everybody, in the audio. Come on, come on, put your hands together, put your hands together. Thank Put you. Put your hands together, everybody. Thank you so Thank much, you very We are much. grateful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Good okay. to have you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, boys and girls, we will continue our session. Uh, we are happy that uh, the commissioner was here, and that was a wonderful time. Uh, a lot of you uh, sent me private messages that you wanted to ask questions, but unfortunately, uh, there was there's not enough time the commissioner is in a very tight schedule and she needed to be gone. Uh, can, you, can you all hear me? All right.
good. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that we have had a wonderful time today. So in, we, in another 15 minutes, we're going to be out of here. Uh, so we have, uh, we, we, have, we have listened to everyone. We have had some interludes. There was somebody here who was supposed to give us, um, what did they call it now? Um, spoken word. One, one smart and who was supposed to do a bit of spoken word, but uh, I'm not sure that she's ready. And so we are just going to let her fly. Or oh, is there a smart in here who is a good spoken word artist? And you have someone ready to go? Oh, yeah, Tara. David, are you a spoken word artist? All right. <laughs> okay, no, you're not. All right. So, uh, so we're we, we are, we are, we are good to go now. Um, so, at this point, I want to officially inaugurate every one of you into the SGC Elite Smarter program. And then the, the way it works is uh, there is a creed that we usually take. I'm not sure that you guys are going to be able to take that creed right now because it's a physical creed, but I will send a creed to you in your group. So what will now happen is There are a number of commitments that we are hoping that you would make. As a member of the LH group, it simply means that you are making a commitment to intellectual enterprise. Now, what that means is this. Your commitment is you are deciding today to grow. You are deciding to apply yourself and to read. You are not just reading for academic success. Academic success is part of it, but that is not the reason you're doing this. All right, academic success is a sure guarantee to anybody who has an intellectual growth aptitude. The reason why you are going, why you are on this program is because there are global problems that you are going to solve. The future of Nigerian leadership is right here. I mean, you guys are going to become captains of industries, political leaders, religious leaders, all kinds of leaders across all the sphere, all right? Our job is to make sure that we we'll provide a platform for each one of you to be able to achieve your highest possible potential. And that is what we are committed to doing. You have heard the Commissioner of Education speak to you guys uh, profusely. She has committed herself. She had said that she's excited about the work you're doing and that her office is very happy to receive you when uh, COVID-19 is over. So that tells you that you are going to be doing quite a lot of field trips, all right? You're gonna be visiting uh, many organizations that we are speaking to right now on your behalf, because the idea is, as soon as you get out of secondary school, we need you to start to build real practical, technical and cost skills, all right? Just before you go into university. Because when you get to university, you are immediately becoming a part of what we call the Achievers Consortium Growth Acceleration Program. Now, the Growth Acceleration Program puts you on a four-year course. In addition to what you're doing in school, you are going to identify global issues and the industries around those global issues. So that while you are in school, you are researching, acquiring certification, building capacity, and you are already an industry participant. So that as soon as you get out of university, we'll call you a plug and play person. You're ready to plug and play into the global economy right away. Now, one of the things I want you to understand is this. I do talent profiling professionally. So what, what that means is big company, uh, companies and corporations hire us sometimes to help them select some of the brightest and best young people for certain roles in their companies. And one of the things that they look at for, apart from your university degrees, is the people with the capacity to think, with the capacity to solve problems, with experience in solving those problems. So what we do in our growth acceleration program when you get into university is that you are able to engage in problem solving for real corporations. 
We call those life ammunition projects. For instance, you can get on an MTM team and then solve a problem with them while you're a student. You can get on a team with KPMG. You can get on a team with uh, Price with the House Cooper. We can get on a team with Goldman Sachs. You can get on a team with different local and global organizations because you need those kinds of experiences just before you graduate. So that whether or not you want to go into a paid employment or you want to go to start your own company, that experience become an absolute valuable asset that you have that positions you. So that means that the moment you are sworn into this program, sorry, you're inducted into this program, you have, we are gonna be tracking you for 10 years. This is 2020. It simply means that up till 2030, you are going to be on our radar. We are going to be tracking what you are doing. We're going to have this uh, database where we'll see what you, what's going on in your life, all the challenges you have. There are some, some of you who are really smart, all right, but you come from low income backgrounds. You know, parents are really struggling to put you through school. We want to be sh make sure that when you start your university or higher uh, high institution program, we want to be sure that money does not become the reason why you slow down. That, that's a commitment. So that every place where we find a scholarship, all right, and we're able to get our corporate partners to come on board and provide scholarship to make sure that the very poor ones among you who are smart, intelligently, incredibly smart and intelligent, but they do not have the, you know, family support to be able to continue. We want to be able to make sure that your education does not stop for any reason. Now, this is why this program is an absolute necessity. Uh, at the beginning of uh, the SDC WhatsApp School, we told you guys that this was going to happen. We're going to select some bright, smart ones among you who are going to do this. But you know, some people are excited, others are not. Uh, there are those who don't take things seriously until the very last minute. But those of you who have been on this program have taken things quite seriously. You have taken your academics seriously. You have taken critical thinking and problem solving seriously. Some of you are involved in your team project, and that's brilliant. For some of those team projects, we are going to ensure that we are able to get an opportunity to make a presentation to the governor of Lagos State, and maybe uh, at some point to federal minister in Abuja, so that you, you are able to let them see the future of classrooms, all right? So right now, what I want to say to you is, as you get into the elite program fully. One of the things I wanted to realize is this. The critical thinking and problem seven we're doing in SDC groups is a joke. That's just play. The kind of critical thinking and problem seven you'll be doing now is master's degrees level. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. And I'll tell you why it's gonna be tough. And I hope that you are able to understand this. Number one thing you need to know is this. Your counterparts, who you are going to be competing with in different parts of the world, have an education system that is very different from ours here. In their education system, they have been doing critical thinking and problem solving since they were in kindergarten, primary school, and high school, or basic school. You here are just beginning to learn this. Now, this is the reason why it's so important that we get this right. So we are trying to do a lot of catch up. We're trying to make sure that the, 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 the lacuna, the vacuum in your capacity to think and process now exist because of the kind of education you have, we want to fill it up so that you guys on this program become, now that we are trying to brand you, we want you to be the truth. We want the substance to resemble the branding. We want you to become some of the smartest young people in Nigeria. Smartest young people in West Africa, smartest young people across all of Africa. So that when they look at you in Ghana, when they look at you in uh, Togo, when they consider some of the smart people in Senegal or Sierra uh, Leone, they will know that you guys have had your backgrounds right here with us. And we are committed to making sure that that exactly is what happens. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? That is, that is what happens. So I want you guys to get ready. This is going to be exciting work. Now, that means that even when you get out of secondary school, we are still together. This is a big, huge family. Get used to it. Uh, those of you who are seeing junior school,
you are still welcome. I want you to know that uh, we are all in this together. Is that okay? All right. Uh, so at this moment, before we close, I would like to sample opinions. There's a few who would like to make a few remarks uh, before I close the session. Uh, you can just indicate, uh, you know, uh, there is a place where you can just indicate, raise your hand and I will activate you and put you on. You have only 30 seconds to quickly make a remark. I want you to know that this is live on YouTube and it is going to remain on YouTube. So there are hundreds of thousands of people who are still going to see this after today. So I wanted to know that uh, you are already making history and this is an incredible time. So uh, if I see your hand up, okay, Uche Stacy, I can see your hand. Uh, I'll be bringing you up in a moment now. Is anybody's hands is up? Uh, Eddie, Eddie Lawrence. Eddie Lawrence, hands is up. Joseph, I want your hands is up. Okay, so I'm good. Uh, Lord, your hand is up. So 30 seconds each of you, keep your hands up. Uh, I'll bring you up. I'll start with uh, Tacy. Oh, 30 seconds. So I mute you <clears throat> and I put you on the spotlight. Okay. Uche, you're up. Today Thank you so much, sir. I just want to say a very big thank you for this great opportunity. This is a very good opening for everyone here. And I will make sure I don't joke with it because the opportunities we are given, it's, 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 it can be very impossible to achieve, but you made all this happen and all the, all the staff. I just want to say a very great thank you. We, the students, we are very grateful for this opportunity. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much for your thoughts on that. Thank you very much. You can mute yourself now. Uh, can, can I, sorry, I will have to pick this up as it comes. Amale, I'm, uh, I'm lowering your hand and I'm, I'm, I'm muting you now so that you can make your remark. Uh, Amale, where are you? Okay. Uh, okay. I think I've unmuted you. Amale, are you there? Yes, I'm there, sir. Yeah. I would just like to, I would like to say thank you to Mr. Bali for giving us this great opportunity because it's really a task opportunity that can be gotten. It's kind of impossible to get. Because this um program is I've got this as a good program and it will surely impact our lives in so many ways. So I look forward to putting my best, inputting my best in this program. And I also I would also have advise all my partners, all teams, members to also please try their best to make sure they are best in this program and try to do the very best thing they can do. Let's make sure this program progresses. Thank you. Thank you very much, Molly. Now I, I want to, I want Joseph, Joseph, I've already unmuted you, go ahead. Joseph, make your remark. Joseph. Hello, okay, go ahead, Joseph. Hello. <clears throat> yeah. So can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Um, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Mr. Abazi Johnson for this opportunity. It's really, truly impactful and beneficial and also innovative, which tests our our aspects, like every aspect of our life, both in intellectual. Um, when it comes to spiritual, I'm sure I've learned some things. When it comes to academic, I'm also I'm also good. It's really an honor to be part of this program, part, uh, to be part of this group, this SGC group. God, God will continue to be with you and continue to elevate you beyond your imagination. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Um, uh, first, I would like to say that I'm really, I'm really grateful for this opportunity to be here on this platform. I want to thank God for this platform. It's really a very educational platform. When I first joined, I just thought it was something that just, they are just teaching basic things from school subject. I, I never knew that it was this deep. From there, I started developing interest. I really like the CTPS sections. And I just want to say the, pro, the program is totally amazing. It's just, it's been very, a very, Deep, a very big opportunity to say that I'll try my best to not I'll fail not this, opportunity. this opportunity. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Hello. Hello, sir. Okay. Is everybody hearing me? Okay, I want to say a very big thank you to, to this SDC WhatsApp school. It has really impacted a lot in me. And I also want to say a very big thank you to Mr. Justin Abadi for giving us this opportunity. To me, it's like a lifetime opportunity. And I promised myself that I'll never misuse it. Thank you so much. And I also want to advise others that they should they should try to work hard. Thank you. I hope everybody can hear me too. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, we can. Okay. First, I want to say a very big thank you to Mr. Abali for this opportunity. When I look back at the time we started, it just makes me laugh because first, it was my teacher that sent the link to me, and I felt we already have a school platform for learning already. So, why would we still have to stress ourselves? to go to another learning platform. But I just felt that since it's an opportunity, let me just engage myself. Then when I did, first it was education, education. Then when we started the CTPS, I felt if I, cause it has impacted me a lot. I've learned a lot of things. It has made me think out of the box, look at things from different perspectives. It has just, if I, it has made me, it has made, it has transformed me. It, it looks like as if the lockdown is a blessing in disguise for me and others. Because um, the way I think before is different from the way I think now. 
the way I the way I behave, the way I even react, the way I even look at people's opinion and think about people's perspective from um, different angles has changed a lot. And I believe uh, the opportunity we're given, I just hope and I pray and I know I'm not going to refuse it because it's a lifetime opportunity that is going to that that can transform and change us life. Thank you. Timmy President, if you are ready, can you please come on? Timmy yeah, President. I am. Okay, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Speak now. Um, good morning. I'm Oye Bandi St. Christopher Oladayo. I really give a big respect to Mr. Johnson Abali. I really appreciate everything the motivational talk, the critical thinking and everything. I really, this, um, I mean, this is a very big opportunity for me. And I, I must say it, it is a good thing. And I must confess that I really appreciate the, the things I went through, the opinion we shared, the impacts, the, the motivational, I mean, I mean, speaking you give to us, I really appreciate that Mr. Jonathan Abali. And I'm promising to make good use of this opportunity given, and I'm and I'm and I'm also saying I'm giving all my best for it. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you. We respect you once again, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I also throw my hat to you. Fantastic young man. Thank you for the very smart <laughs> thoughts you put out there. Uh, Egyone Emanuela, yeah. you'll be the last person we'll take right now. Thank you, Egyone Emanuela. Emanuela. Thank you very much. Emanuela, are you there? You are on. Egaono, Emanuela, you are on. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aileen Emanuela. I'm uh, here to say a very big thank you, a very big thank you to Mr. Johnson Abele and to Stephen, um, Mr. Stephen Loya for all the work they are, they are put they are put into this learning program for us to learn more things. Without this, I couldn't think more. This is so. This program is so educative and it makes us learn more. Since I started this program, at first I wasn't I wasn't much interested, but after seeing the CTPS sessions, I began to learn more. As and I want to say a very big thank you again to Mr. Justin Abelli. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you very much. It's amazing. Uh, uh, I'm sure some of you are already following up on uh, what's happening in YouTube because this is live. Everybody's seen it, and it's an incredible experience for all of you. Uh, we have, we, uh, unfortunately, we cannot take more. We cannot take more remarks. I, I know a lot of you still have a lot more to talk about, but I cannot close without letting the group captain 
for science to be able to uh, say a few words before we go. So I'm going to call Alexander Fasaya uh, to uh, quickly uh, share as we as we get ready. Alexander Fasaya, are you ready to run? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. Johnson. Good afternoon, Fasaya. I want to tell you a big thank you for this big opportunity you've given to all of us. And I want to tell everybody this, as you said before, most people don't take advantage of opportunities they are giving until it's too late. Now we've been given this opportunity. A lot of students were given the opportunity in SP classes and out of them all, we are picked out of everybody. Some people, some people, that means something that we're not like, paying attention to this now are feeling bad because if they had paid attention, they would have been picked among all of us. Now that you've been picked, please don't let it be too late when they are coming in. Again, a big thank you to you, Mr. Johnson, and to everybody working in the back end. You guys are doing great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Afasanya, for your thoughts right there. We really appreciate everybody who has been a part of this. Uh, we have uh, technically come to the close of uh, this engagement. I'm very happy that everybody has learned. Um, uh, so beginning from today, you are all officially members of the SDC Elite Smart and Group. The network is tied to the Achievers Consortium International and Achievers mm -hmm. Consortium International spread across Canada, US, and London, and uh, Nigeria. So you see that you have become a part of a huge community of people. There are hundreds of experts from across the world who are in this ecosystem as mentors and as support. So I need you to know that we are building a global family of experts, of smart people, we call the critical mass. All right, so please don't slow down in your academics. Whatever you are learning, learn for knowledge, learn for dominion, and that's my closing point. When I say learn for dominion, this is what I mean. Do not learn just so that you can come into first class. I want you to learn to do more than a first class. I want you to learn to be an authority in any material. So that if somebody picks up a conversation around motion, a conversation around string theory, a conversation around quantum physics, a, a conversation around academics of scale, a conversation about anything, I don't want you to just be the guy. I want you to be that chap, that smart, intelligent chap who is able to begin from economics and make the link to string theory and come back to humanities and talk about life sciences all in one breath. That capacity to be cross-disciplinary in your thinking is what makes you real smarter. It makes it so possible for you to pass any exams anywhere, for you to be able to represent yourself anywhere, and for you to be ready to compete in the 21st century because the 21st century is gonna be driven by the fourth revolution, all right? And that fourth revolution will reward extraordinary young people, all right? So what is different between you now and other smart young people out there is that people are book smart, but you, you've gone beyond book smart, you are now life smart, all right? You're not learning all of the different combinations of knowledge that will help you become absolutely useful when you get out of school and when you're ready to run. I see a lot of you having retainership, even as undergraduates, even before you get to university, I see people engaging you, paying you for your mind paying you for your perspective, paying you to be a part of a bigger, larger project. And that is the kind of thing I need you to sustain and support, all right? <clears throat> so right now, I declare all of you members, we are, this the final, the official inauguration is over. You have been inducted into this thing. The Commission of Education has formally welcomed you guys in. Uh, the Commission and I go way back nearly 20 years, and we have done a lot of work together, and we are connected to a very huge community of education reformers. And I need you to know that you are in the best possible place you can be right now, no matter what school that you're in. So thank you so much. I want to also thank Tuluwane Lucer for the fantastic speech that he made. Uh, so everybody who has been on this, thank you uh, for coming, and uh, God bless you. Thank you very much. So we are going to close again with the National Anthem that we took before. 
This time, I want somebody to volunteer to sing the national anthem for us so that I can preserve my award, my Grammy Award winning voice. All right, who wants to volunteer to do that? Who wants to volunteer to do it? Okay, who, okay. is that you, Oluwa Timilei? Okay, great, she has raised her hand. I'm going to invite her to uh, lead us all in the, is Omole raising his hand too? The, is it Fuji, Fuji version you for us? Back, All right, so we're ready. Uh, we're ready to go now. We are going to be led by Oluwa Timilehi and Deonju. Timilehi, if you're ready, we are ready. Everybody, hand to the chat. I'm ready. So. Let's go. All right. Oh. Because I try, Nigeria's color bay to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate her. Thank you for the fantastic work. Uh, you can all unmute yourself if you want. Uh, this is uh, awesome. So uh, thank you for the thank time that so we have spent together. Thank you Everybody so have much. a thank very you, sir. fantastic day. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Thank you so thank much for everything. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. I'm really happy about this opportunity. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'm really so happy. Thank you, sir. 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 I'll be at the back, back, back. I don't get it. Thank you, sir. It's not everybody going to do show. This is Angela. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, what is going on me? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Wow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you to all the teachers who volunteered, who sacrificed their time to teach us on Edmodo during the CTPF sessions. Thank you all very, Thank very you much. So much Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless. I pray that we. Thank you very much, sir. I have a question. Mr. Johnson, please, I want to ask you a question. A very important question. God bless, sir. I have a question. Thank you, sir. I have a question, sir. I really have done a lot. Thank you, sir. A lot. I have a question, sir. Thank you, sir. I have done a lot. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I pray you will be Thank you very much, sir. 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 Thank I have a question. Sir, I have a question. Sir, I have a question. 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 I have a question.